Hello my friends and welcome to a fantastic new game that really brings me back to my childhood. It is called Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and today we're going to play through at least the first few levels of them and eventually this will become a series and we'll play through the entire game. I hope you guys will find it interesting or hopefully fun. It's a strategy game. It's uh, not a flash strategy game, but it's at least a strategy game, and hopefully you guys will enjoy me uh, talking about it and talking about how to get better and maybe play through it yourself. I'm actually using a dolphin emulator right now, so if uh, that's what catches your fancy, feel free to go ahead and uh, download it and play it. You have to have a pretty decent computer to run that dolphin emulator, dolphin emulator, but it is fantastic. So, the reason why I like this game is... It's a strategy game. As you guys probably know from Bloons Tower Defense, Age of Empires, StarCraft, I love strategy games. That's the way I love to do it. So that's why we're playing through this. Uh, it's a very fantastic game, actually. It's one of the highest rated games for GameCube. And I think a lot of people really don't haven't heard of it, which is kind of weird. It's such an awesome game. And I want you guys to know about it and at least maybe have some fun playing through and listening to me talk about it and stuff like that. So first of all, here are the main characters. There's Greel, I think his name is. There's Misty. And Ike is by far the main, main character. He's the guy with the bluish hair right there. He's about to attack him. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he missed. And boom. Gets hit in the back and basically dies. Oh man, that was a ridiculous hit right there. So that's Ike, there's his sister, and there's his dad. I'm going to go through the story as well. I'm not just going to play through the game. I think the story is very interesting and a very good story to say the least. So hopefully you guys will have fun uh, playing through or uh, watching it with me. This is not one of those games where you go around first-person shooting and RPGing and stuff like that. It's a turn-based strategy game. Uh, and I don't even know who the heck this is. I played this a long time ago. This is back when I was like 13 years old or 14 years old is when I used to play it. I remember playing it for summers beyond summers and having so much fun with it i beat it on hard like no problem and i remember being so crazy about this game that i would turn off the game every single time one of my characters died because it's one of those games where if one of your characters dies they're not just gone for like a round or gone for a little while they're gone forever they're dead dead and it sucks so blah 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 blah, blah. there's mifty oh look at look how cute she is she's such a little anime girl oh man who's that i don't know who the heck that is but they look very anime cute and such happy music. Oh, it's so gooey and fun. Yay. Yay. So, okay, here we go. Here is the prologue. Mercenaries. Yeah, so we are mercenaries. We're not even a part of an army or anything. We just go around killing people for fun? No, not really. We don't kill them for fun. So here you go. Are you all right? Blah, 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 blah. I'll be fine. All right, so there's his dad, and he's like, so, the sleeping prince awakens. Blah, blah, blah. Ha, 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 ha. The practice swords. Uh, yeah, you heard him. But, 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 you don't have to worry, I'm fine. Yeah, see, they're all happy and good and fantastic. Oh, yay. And by the way, I'm not going to read every single little thing. I'm just going to kind of skip through it every once in a while. Uh, there's Boyd. He's Ike's friend. I'm going to tell you guys what I know. If I don't know what's going on, then I'll probably slow it down and make sure you guys know what's going on. But they're basically just talking about nonsense right now, about uh, silly stuff. You know, nothing really too special. Nothing even that gets the story going. It's just getting the characters kind of understood and seeing what's happening with them. So, what's going to happen in this game is Ike is actually going to be the general of his mercenary army, and uh, he starts controlling people and telling people what to do, and eventually they go through an athlete to save the entire place. Blah, 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 tutorial, tutorial, no, 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 no. We do not want a tutorial. No. Also, I do have to change something really quick. We're going to go through the options, and I'm going to change all this off. I'm going to turn the animations off, uh, game speed fast, message speed fast. We want to get through this game. We don't want to have it be really, really slow and silly combat window i'm gonna go with detail because i'm more of an advanced player you guys might want to stay with simple and uh that's about it all right that's about it now what happens is this is like a turn-based game where you have tiles it's kind of like chess basically it's like an advanced game of chess with your characters and right now you just start off with one character and eventually you're going to have a whole army of characters that you can control and there's a bunch of different characters that you can have for example there's uh like Ike, who's a swordman. There's Boyd, who's an axeman. You can, you're can, you going to have him. There's Misty, who's a healer. She goes around and heals people. And then you have uh, other random people that have certain things that they're good at. Archers and stuff, which, of course, are not very good to have them right next to a guy. But if you use them from a distance, they can be very fantastic. So, bam, 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 bam. Killage! We just killed Boyd. Yes! Destructed him. And we get some experience. So, the game... Basically, the way the game works is that every single time you... Uh, attack somebody or kill somebody you get some experience and you go up levels and you get better and then you can kill more people and stuff like that so you actually have to play the game from the beginning knowing what you're gonna do and seeing how you're going to be 
who you're going to raise up and who you're going to get more experience for. It's kind of like, I don't know, I guess you could compare it to Pokemon maybe. Who are you going to get experience for? If you pick one guy to get experience for, that guy's going to be awesome. But then, guess what? If, for example, some crazy guy comes that is bad against, or good against that guy, then you're pretty much worthless. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this thing called right, right here. It's, I don't know how to pronounce it. And again, I don't know how to pronounce many things in this game. But I still try my best. It's called a vulnerary. Vulnerary? I don't know. That's what I call it. At least in my head it sounds better than when I say it out loud. But uh, it, it gives you health. And uh, you have items as well and you can use different things and stuff like that. So basically what I'm going to do is, uh, again, str strategy already comes into play. So instead of attacking this guy, what I'm going to do is just wait. I'm just going to go bam, wait, and that, guess what? He's going to attack me again. He's going to get his first attack. I'm going to get a repeat attack against this guy. And then, instead of him killing me on the next attack where he attacked first, I get to attack him and Bloop, kill him before he gets to hurt me again. And I survived. Yes, and we go up a level. Yeah, sure, we're going up a level. Again, you can go up uh, up to 20 levels in this game. And then on top of that, you can go up another 20 levels after you go up like uh, kind of like an evolution thing. You evolve and become a better person, whether you're a paladin or a knight or something even better than what you are right now. And it's uh, pretty cool when you get those guys up. Uh, I'm a professional. Professional who just got beat. That was a random chance. Yep, yep, yep. Just like chess. That's a random chance thing. Um, so they're all just, they all suck right now. They're like level 1, they're level 2, but as you go through the game, you get better. You learn the characters and all that stuff. So it's going to be awesome. So we're going to start saving this. I already started kind of already just to get the swing of things, and I started a new chapter, and that's about as far as I got. Again, I haven't played this game in about 5, 7 years, maybe somewhere around there. I haven't played it in a really long time. So uh, we're going to play through this level today and then uh, in the next video we'll play through level two and then level three we'll make each episode one or each episode one level slash round slash all that now you're probably confused with all these characters right now and that's okay you guys will learn who they are as you go further and further again the story is it's sort of interesting but when they talk they just get way too wordy and they talk about random nonsense so titania right there she's like a super paladin girl she's really really good at the beginning but as you go further into the game you realize she's not as good as you might think because she really can't go up any any more levels so uh blah 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 he's the main commander right now is Greel. that's ike's father again and his first job is to do something what does she have to do captain titania preparations are complete and i'm ready to go there's oscar oscar is my boy i love oscar oscar is the best guy in the entire world i love him i love him i really do blah blah blah, blah. everyone's ready to go let's do this stuff let's do this shiznit and there we go there's some some people at this town right here and we have to kill them all Kill them all. I know it sounds evil that we just have to kill people, but they're raiding the village right now. Let me explain what's going on. Yeah, see what's going on. This is a map of Chaldea. They've hired us to drive off some bandits. We are the blue markers here. The red dots are the bandits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then up there is the leader. we got to kill the leader. The guy who's trying to defend right there. Our mission is to take out and recapture that building. Okay, sweet, delicious action. Let Ike, listen up. This is some, but I can give you a rookie a few tips. Um, Yeah, don't just jump off, start killing everybody. Don't try to be too much... Don't be too dangerous with it. You gotta play strategically. Uh, you have to you have to understand that you don't just get to keep attacking and attacking and attacking. It's turn based, so you get to attack, then the enemy attacks, then you get to attack, then the enemy attacks. So you have to plan accordingly. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use my uh, uh, see there one thing. Lance is good against swords, but not against axes, and uh, the axe is good against lances. So that makes sense. I mean, it really doesn't matter that much. So the sh swords good against axes, of course, makes sense. That's not that important, but yeah, you should, if you're a pro, you should probably learn to do that. Alright, so we're going to go for experience today. Again, I'm planning for the late game, so first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to visit this place, visit this little house, and they always give you things. Here, take this weapon, blah, 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 blah. So we got a steel sword, sweet! And I'll just, I'll just push her up over here. Kind of block some guys off, make sure nobody can get through. Also, Oscar is going to go up here and destroy this guy. He's going to be like, bam, shazam, iron lance the crap out of him. Bam! Eight damage. And he gets a double attack, so what happens is if you're fast enough, you can actually get a double attack on people. And uh, let's get Ike over here. He's going to wait right over here. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, my God. I'm still not used to the controls yet because I'm using a PS3 controller. And we'll get Boyd to go attack this axe guy. Bam. And you can tell my guys are better than their guys, of course. That just makes sense. Level 1, you got to make it kind of easy. But your guys can still die. And like I said, if they die, they're good for... They're gone for good. 
which is just plain terrible. So this bandit guy is like, guess what? I'm going to go walk into this village, and boom, it's dead. He burned it down. Well, that sucks. Now we can't get the little thing inside. So now it's the enemy's turn right now, and they're attacking me already, and they're trying to kill Boyd, and Boyd's all like, oh, crap, Ola, attack Oscar and stuff, but that bandit's going to get raped. Look at that Oscar action right there. He destroyed him. Like I said, Oscar is my boy. Can't wait to get him up a bunch of levels. He'll be sweet. And now Titania also, again, fan freaking task in the beginning game here. Just one hit, insta-kill. Oh my god, is that good? No, because you only got two experience from that. What the heck, man? That's because, like I told you guys about, about the evolution thing, she's already the second level. She's already the second evolution. While these guys, even though they're level three, he's like a higher level, he's not. He's on the first evolution, so he can go to a full 17 levels before he has to do that. Now, Oscar is just going to run... Let's see, let's see what's, what's Oscar's health at right now? He's got a vulnerary. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run Oscar in here. He's going to get a bunch of experience, and he's just going to use uh, a vulnerary really quick. Bam, he's going to be full health, going to fight whoever the heck he wants, and uh, we will get... Uh, Ike's just going to kind of run in here. Now, the thing about Ike is, is that uh, you don't want to get him up too many levels too fast, because honestly, you have to wait to a certain point in the game before you can even get him evolved, quote-unquote, into a new warrior thing. I don't know what he's what it's actually called, but... Uh, you have to wait to a certain point, so getting experience for him is kind of just natural. He's just a very good player. So they're going to try and attack the weakest player. They don't go for Oscar if they don't have to. They want to attack Ike because he's the weakest. Bam! Look at that. Now that guy's not even going to attack. Oh, no. Oh, goodness gracious. We need to get Titania over here and visit this little place right here. That guy wants to uh, do that. And we're not going to allow him to burn down that thing. So we get a free Thruffy Rube. Don't, again, don't know how to pronounce that, but that's okay. So let's get Ike over here. We're going to have him attack the, uh, uh, we'll have him attack this guy right here. Actually, I don't even know if I want him to attack. This is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. I don't know. Let's, let's wait it out. Let's see what else we got. We got Boyd over here. Boyd can run over here, and let's see if uh, that guy can attack Boyd or whatnot. And then Oscar. We'll have Oscar attack. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to kill this guy for sure. So Oscar's just going to hit him once. Bam. Unless he can hit him twice. That would be sweet, but I don't think so. There we go, and then Ike's going to kill him. So we can just go, bam, Ike's going to kill him, not get another attack on him, and now he can easily fend off attack from one of those bandits. And also, Ike gets more experience for that, because he actually kills the guy. So we're a level up, yeah! And Ike's already level 3, he's a ranger. Got strength, speed, defense, oh yeah, that's exactly what we want to see. So far, Ike's the only guy, oh no. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we'll just drop the iron sword. You get a bunch of weapons from people and stuff like that, and, uh... There you go. See, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. They're attacking Boyd, and Boyd dodged it like a bo Oh, well, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious over there. Uh, he's going to get a double hit. He did. He got a double hit on that guy. Sweet action. Now, Ike can run over here. Just attack this guy really quick. Kill him. And then we'll get Oscar to come in there and attack the main boss guy. So let's get Oscar in here. Oscar's got quite a bit of health still. He's got 25. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Also, the th cool thing about horses is they can attack and then run away really quick. Come on, get a double attack. No, he didn't. He didn't get a double attack. That's too bad. So we'll get Boyd over here just to attack. Eh, let's see. There's a cool way you can do this. this there's, you can actually check how much attack and strength he can actually have. So he's got a 13 strength right now. This guy's got a 5 defense. So 13. Oh, yeah, he will kill Boyd if Boyd attacks him. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to wait. I'm just going to say screw it. And we're just going to wait. So we'll just get off that guy. Oh, come on. I don't know how to change that. Uh, <laughs> Again, I don't remember the controls. So we're just going to have him wait. Titania can just run up here really quick. Just kind of keep that guy busy. And that's it. End of our turn. Let's see what they're going to do. This guy heals because he's on that freaking thing, which is lame-tastic. I'm not liking it. Boyd can just sit over there and start killing this guy if possible. He's probably got a vulnerary as well. Uh, so maybe we'll use that really quick. Um, let's see, does he have one? Perfect, look at that, he's got one, just heal him whenever you need to, and we're doing fantastic. Now what we can do is get Oscar up in here, actually, let's see, she's gonna probably get a double attack on this guy, right? Oh no, only a single attack, that's okay. We'll use an iron axe, bam, we can do a single attack on this guy, he probably won't die. And then we can just run away really quick, Oscar and Ike can clean him up. Oh, she did get a double attack, that's just terrible! What? Maybe my, I don't know. They usually tell you if you're going to get a double attack. But anyways, we'll just walk in here. We'll seize this up. Uh, I'll wait till next turn. We'll get Oscar over here to kill that guy. 
And we'll just uh, wait. Again, I'm just doing this to get a little bit of experience. We want this guy to die for sure. And we'll just get Boyd to attack him really quick. Come on, Boyd. Get a nice little attack in there. Kill him really quick. Now, you have to, you have to be careful of critical hits and stuff like that. If this guy critical hit me, he could have killed me. So you got to be careful of that. And look at that. We got perfect. He's level up as well. Boyd is my fighter guy. He's pretty good, but not the best guy in the entire world. His defense kind of sucks. His strength is amazing. And now let's just finish this off. We'll just go... Boom, we're going to seize this nice little music for us. Clear the map. Yes, and we did it. We did it, my good friends. That's the end of it. Are you all right? Yes, I'll be fine. You know, you surprised me. Think if you come so far. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've already gone so far on level one right there. Nothing. Now I'm really curious. Don't worry about it. You'll learn all about it someday. What? First battle, yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, we did okay. We had to use some vulnerabilities and stuff like that. We definitely had to use some strategic action, but we did it. Everybody's all right, and everybody's doing fantastic right now. Okay, let's save this up. And uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Again, it's a nice little opening video. It was about 16 minutes long. It's not too bad. And then the next level, we will play Chapter 2, The Rescue, which we will get a bunch of new characters. Every single level, you get a bunch of new characters. Not really every level, but every once in a while, you get a bunch of new characters. And you have to learn how to use them to the best of your ability. And you also have to raise them up as well. So that's kind of one of the tougher things. I'm not even going to start with all this story stuff until next video. As always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a great day.